Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to tonight's NBLL game. We are at the number 40 in this season, and we're about to kick this off. Zbraslav in Radotin with LCC Radotin as their opponent. Zbraslav is the home team as they use this venue as their home turf. And we see a very long bench from Spraslav. They've been getting ready for this game for quite some time and want to definitely give LCC a run for their money. So here we go. Let's kick this off. The Battle of Radochin, as they call it themselves. And the first whistle has gone and we are off to a great start. Battling for the ball. Radochin takes that first possession. Contact on the boards. These two teams will definitely fight for it and fight for it hard. LCC still with the ball. Barak going straight, finding an opponent, uh, colleague around the crease. Kochera, one of the youngsters on this team. First shot, not quite on goal, but we will see plenty of those. And Braslav gets to take the ball to their side. It's also important to say that there's another battle going on just across town. Malashice playing against the LCC Wolves team, the other team from Radotin, and currently leading at halftime 8-4. Head to pointpinch.com for detailed stats from that game while you still keep watching us over here. Is Braslav still with the ball? <coughs> Adam Strecha cannot quite get that pass over and back and Hayek will get to get another shot at goal here early in first. A hold by Zbraslav which will be an advantage for LCC. First advantage of the game and shot not quiet there with a crease violation. And the first penalty of the game. Referee Wojta Schaffner saw that hold there that did disadvantage the player going to goal. Let's see if LCC can convert this advantage. The man up on this first play over here in Radochin. It's a beautiful late summer evening, I would say. And shot, but saved by Zbraslav. And we're going fast paced game here. Let's see if both teams can keep this tempo up. I would say judging by the length of this Zbraslav bench that they are here ready to battle and a man down goal on the Zbraslav end. Zbraslav kicking it off on the board while man down. And the first goal is in. Let's see that replay here. Nice fake, quick passes and a completely open guy on the goal scoring that first one of this game. Yiji Vojicek. Another battle at the face. The face-offs have been, or the two face-offs we've had so far have been battled for hard. They're certainly not giving it up easily. Not a dominance here as this face-off goes to Zbraslav. Keeping the ball securely in their stick and try to play out this man down here, not giving an LCC an easy shot to equal the score on the board. 46 seconds left on this penalty. Let's see if LCC can convert this man up after all, after they did let that one goal in early in their own man up. Kucherasach. LCC tonight with a slightly shorter bench. They had a couple of injuries of some of their stars. But don't worry if you want to see all the stars of this league 
Just uh, join us on Saturday, 5 p.m. Central European time for the MBLL All-Star Game. It will be the Battle of the Millenniums with Team 2K, players born before the year 2000, and Team 3K with players born after the year 2000. So it should be very exciting. But back to this game, game number 40, that was easy, basically a pass. And here we go back and forth with Kressel, who will also be playing on the All-Star team and battle for fastest player in this league. We have a couple of competitions prepared for you this weekend, so make sure to tune in also on our YouTube channel where you're watching right now. Or come see it live in Yizhny Mesto if you're in Prague or surrounding areas, 5 p.m. on Saturday. Zbraslav moving the ball quick, not giving LCC a chance to settle much. As I said, they've been prepping hard for this particular game. In the spring part of the season, they had to go home with a 22 to 9 loss. I don't think anybody's counting with such a result tonight. Both teams are prepared for an equal battle. And it's currently the top-seeded LCC Radotin, unbeaten so far this season, battling against the third-placed Zbraslav. Her in very close competition for second with Yuzhny Mesto with the same amount of points, just a couple of differences in the goal differential. And they definitely want to improve their position for their seeding in the final four later this fall. The fourth place for the final four is not yet decided and will be battled out between the other teams. And it's very hard to tell who will make it. Almost all the teams left still have a chance. And the first couple of pushes and shoves with Shruta there around the boards. And now we have a one-to-one -one score, LCC use the opportunity of distracting some of those Braslav players. And that was just good enough to get on the board here in this beautiful late summer evening game. If you are watching us online, tell us where you're watching from. We always like to see where our fans are as this league is growing beyond its original region. Kressel with the ball. Prochaska to Friedel and Strach with a hard shot. Whitmer on the ball. Funk. And here we go for Zbraslav again, trying to set up their offense before the LCC defense is set up on their half. Always a good idea. Try to get a couple good passes quick before they're in full strength. You can also hear our fans here. Always nice to see when they come over and support their team. Please come over on Saturday and support your players in our All-Star game this Saturday coming up. But back to this game. It's, it's really a back and forth here and a gorgeous goal on by LCC. <laughs> Stepan Friedel, one of the youngsters here, very experienced young player, who's always good for a surprise. Beautiful diving goal right there. It's Braslav with the ball and uh, advantage for them. Push from behind. This will give Zbraslav their first man up this game with 8.20 left in this quarter. Current score 2-1. Two, two so this gives Zbraslav the opportunity to equal out the score and get back on that board. Let's see if they can convert here on this opportunity and very quick 
Wow, that did not take long. Marek Shafanda, one of their youngest, 15 years old, I hear. Rising star, working really hard, especially on this athletic ability as he's growing to a three on one now. Can he get out of there? Getting any help on the boards? You may see this better than I can in that corner. Zbraslav still with the ball. Fighting hard. Whitmer will probably calm this down, think of something, but not that much time left, so he just goes for it and lets his defense set up on the other end. Dobry wieczór do Polska. Pozdrawiamy do Wrocławia. To our fans in Poland where we had the very first MBLL game in Poland, a historic game last weekend, which was a beautiful battle with beautiful sunshine. We hope everybody going there enjoyed it. Uh, Berlin playing Pardubice. Pardubice with a lot of Polish players. And there goes the third Zbraslav goal in this game by Tomasz Zipaj, his seventh this season. Looked so effortlessly. Just waited for it, distracted the goalie, and in it goes. So this game so far is everything we expected it to be. Let's see if it stays that way. Certainly looks like it. And four to two to Zbraslav. This is what they were working so hard for. And Brian Whitmer has been putting a lot of effort into this team. His roster is long. He has a couple of newbies coming in for this later part of the season from his hometown, which is great to see. And four to two. Zbraslav still with the ball, ut utilizing their momentum. Can Kressel get it back? Not quite. Quite a lot of contact there at the boards. This is a hard game off box lacrosse, and that's how we love it. Maybe a quick look on the game in Maleshice, where Wolves are playing and fighting hard. Currently 9-6 in the third. And in this game over here, with a 4-2 score, LCC is... Uh, Looking for a strategy here. I don't think they have found it yet for this strong Zbraslav team tonight. With a very motivated bench, as you can also hear in the background. LCC now with the ball. Can they bring in some new ideas? or their well-known athleticism. LCC this season has had some surprising starts, so let's not get ahead of ourselves. Berlin was leading 3-0 at first, and then they got quite declassified once LCC figured out what they are doing, so maybe sometimes they just need a minute. That was definitely crease, so ball goes back to Zbraslav. Braslav is now not in a hurry, yet they want to keep their momentum going. The last goal, sorry, I didn't mention that, was from Lasse, who's a transfer from Germany, supporting this Zbraslav team. So Zbraslav is probably the most international team in the league in terms of mixture. They have Czechs, obviously locals, Americans, Germans, and it's going really well for them. They also train a lot of kids, same as LCC. That strategy has definitely paid off for LCC in the last probably 15 years or so. As you can see with many of these players being young, and Zbraslav wants to do the same and raise the next generation. And they're Goes the next penalty on Pavel Strach. 
or unsportsmanlike conduct. I have to admit, I did not see what happened. Maybe the replay will help us. Oh, did he toss the ball, maybe? I have to admit, I don't know, but gives Zbraslav an advantage in already a two-goal lead. They converted early, and the opening goal was a man-down goal for Zbraslav. Let's see if they can get a man-up goal here. Tonda Gottwald, always good for some contact play. Number five in red. Zbraslav still got it, maybe. Ooh. All right, yes, yeah, Zbraslav still got it. And we have a hand up. One of the fastest players in the league, not quite that fast, and Wojta Schaffner did see that. So that's a two-man up for Zbraslav now. LCC will play with just three players for a minute and a half, and Zbraslav gets a good chance to extend their lead here in Radotin, something that LCC is not so used to especially not this late in first. As I said, they do have some trouble starting off strong, maybe because they're so confident in their abilities later in the game, but they're definitely not used to still being behind this late in the first period. They managed to get the ball back and now they're gonna run it hard. That's why Kressel, who can run really fast, my pick for probably the fastest player in this league, even though some disagree, and we will see on Saturday. And oh my God, that was a big mistake on the Zbraslav defense. They counted on LCC being A, out of time, and B, just running the ball around, as we were saying, and they scored on a two-man down. You don't see that very often. On a man down, sure. On a two man down, not so much. So, as I said, don't underestimate LCC. They have a way of coming back, especially early in the game when some team happens to run them on the board a little bit. So it's a 4-3 game, everything we wanted it to be, and more. So stay with us. Three minutes in this first quarter, and Zbraslav still two men up for another 20 seconds or so. Oh, Zbraslav will be careful not to make the same mistake again, but they did open an opportunity for Barak to shoot the ball. Brian Whitmer with the ball now. Quick pass, shot, rebound maybe, yes. And maybe another one, yes, there it is. And another one, will they keep it going? Zbraslav is very good at just getting the ball to bounce back and forth. Nice try from behind the goal. Couldn't quite convert, but the try was nice for sure. Now LCC back to four players, back to five now. So we're at equal strength. Zbraslav was not able to convert a two-man up and even got a goal on this. They're probably not happy about that and definitely broke the momentum from earlier this quarter when they had three consecutive unanswered goals. So now we're back to a very equal matchup. It's really going back and forth, lots of contact. I think we'll see a lot more. Zbraslav now slowing down a little bit to make sure that they don't make the same mistake again and leave their goal unattended, more or less. Yeah, ground balls. Tonda Gottwal with the win there. And a fast round. Will he score? He will try. Whitmer on the pickup. Frankie. Nah, Frankie, you had more time. There's still almost a minute there. No need to rush it now. Wait for your guys, you have plenty of them. Oh, that is unfortunate for LCC. Shruta basically 
had that ball. And Marish thought so too. And the ball just kind of trickled into the goal. Look at that. Yeah, it bounced off Shruta into his own goal. And we have a two-goal lead here for Zbraslav. They will be happy to take that into that short period break. But first, they need to get the ball here to secure for another 40 seconds or so. Yeah, Zbraslav pulling the goalie now that they have the ball. They have a little bit over 30 seconds here in this quarter. They will try to score one more. And they will go with an advantage, most likely, into the second quarter. I would guess a slash. We will see. Uh, illegal body check, okay. Yeah, I can, I can go with that. That was on that face-off pickup here that you saw. There was no ball there, that's why I didn't see it. I followed the ball, something that I train myself not to do when I officiate, but when I'm commentating, I have the advantage of actually watching the play, which is great. So I get to see what you see. All right, so a man up for Zbraslav. Another 10 seconds. And if not, they will take that advantage into the next quarter. Two more. And that's it for the first quarter. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very tight game over here. Scores Braslav, the home team tonight, with five. LCC, the normally home team here. But tonight, as the guest with three, we have a man up advantage for Braslav going into the second quarter. Stay with us, tell us where you're watching from, and invite your friends. I will be right back. Dobry večer. Great evening, everybody, or good morning, depending on where you're watching from. And wunderschönen guten Abend hier aus Prag. Welcome to game number 40 of this NBLL season's Braslav. The home team tonight taking on LCC Radotin in a very hard fought battle. If you missed the first quarter, do rewind and watch it again because it was a back and forth battle. We had a couple of man ups and we had a couple of man down goals, even a two man down goal by LCC. And we continue with this battle, a short update from the other arena where Malishitsa is hosting the other Radokin team LCC Wolves. And it's currently 9-6 in the third period. We here are in the second period and currently a man up for Zbraslav after an illegal body check after the face-off by Hayek, whose brother plays on this Braslav team. And uh, they live just here next to the arena. They can actually see it from their window. So they're at the arena all the time, which shows especially 
in high ex stick skills and speed. LCC with a try here on the man down. They get the ball back. And as you can see, if you only joined us now, is Braslav with a very strong long bench tonight. They came prepared for battle. LCC suffering a couple of missing players tonight. And let's see if they can keep up the tempo. So far, it definitely looks that way. And we are watching a beautiful game of box lacrosse here in Prague on this late summer evening. Shot by Prochaska. And I would say a push on Barak. And we are even now back to five on five, excuse me. A hard fought shot over there. Didn't quite convert. But every single ball here, every single possession is really hard fought on both ends. Adam Strecha from the Pilsen team who also plays or he played last season on bats from Bratislava who are taking a break due to family commitments and a lot of new family members, hopefully lacrosse players of the future. They will be back next season. A shot not quite on target will result in an over and back and get the ball back to LCC Radochin. Hayek with the ball. LCC figuring out their strategy against this newly strengthened Braslav team. Pavel Srch couldn't quite keep the possession there. Getting Braslav another chance to extend their lead, which is their game plan as far as I hear from the period break huddle. Braslav, shot, a nice attempt there. Goalies do not like that, uh, and they definitely use every opportunity to let that player diving into their crease know that they have nothing to look for right there, which Bartuszka, one of our officials tonight, knows very well as a goalie himself. Strach with a beautiful behind the back if you just looked away for a second make sure to rewind and watch this again luckily we get to see a replay here of this beautiful very effortlessly looking goal by Pavel Sach. a beauty he is one of the four players who did travel to Saskatchewan last year to play in their league for three months and uh, obviously paid off. He also works at the local Harimir restaurant, one of our partners. Make sure to go check them out and their locally drafted beer. Hayek with a very strong shot there. But Zbraslav is on top of that, getting the ball back. Quick transition. Not quite ready, his teammates. He was, just not everybody else. Let's see what they will think of here. They will switch up a little bit. That didn't quite make it. LCC, Barak. Shurta carried that ball all the way. Now putting on his offense. Prochaska, that did not quiet make it through the defense but that one did wow Pavel search is ready to go and we have a five to five game ladies and gentlemen if you know people who are just sitting at home on their couch watching something else make sure they know to watch this game because they are missing out Pavel surf with two consecutive goals one nicer than the other and back to the face-off axe for the battle for the ball. <laughs> you 
can just hear the sticks pounding. Zbraslav trying it behind the back, not quite as successfully as Pavel Serk made it look so easy. I couldn't do it. I probably wouldn't try either. But these guys practice that all the time. We also will have a most creative penalty shot competition this weekend during our All-Star game on Saturday at 5 o'clock Central European time. Make sure to tune in or even better, come and see for yourself live at Yizhny Mesto Arena. We will also have a very special Horimir surprise for you. So make sure you come and see us. Whitmer with the ball after an attack by LCC Radotin on their goal. That nice lead is now gone. As expected, we have a very equal game here with lots of contact. Andrei Streblik couldn't quite convert on that one. It's a real back and forth, a very exciting game of box lacrosse right here in Radotin. I hope you like it as much as I do. I have a bird's eye view just like you at home. And it is a beauty to watch it from up here. Is Braslav still with the ball? They didn't quite expect it themselves, but they have gotten real good at getting the rebounds. Something that probably all the players playing in this league have on top compared to players who play only field in the rest of Europe because the rebounds wow okay this has nothing to do with a rebound this was just a plain old beautiful shot and LCC is in the lead the first time this game 5-6 now for LCC Radotin let's see what Zbraslav will do to make this bleeding stop and get on the board and get back into the lead. Maybe just like this, getting the ball at face-off would be a start, but maybe not with such an easy shot right there. Let's not, you know, give up the ball that easily. LCC will punish every mistake here in this game for sure. So Zbraslav can't afford those at all. They've worked hard on their athleticism, on their kick skills. You can see a tremendous improvement. So I don't think they have to fear a game result like in spring. But with mistakes like this and another man down for Zbraslav, it will be very hard to keeping LCC at a tight score and maybe even taking a win here. So another opportunity for LCC to get on the board and build up a lead. They just got into the lead a minute ago, first time in this game, not wasting any time and trying to utilize this man up to their advantage. Shot. I, that was by Knotek. And now Srch, who had two in a row, two beautiful goals in a row. Zbraslav putting on their A-team on the man down defense. Whitmer with the... That did not quite make it. And Zbraslav with the ball will now try. But not successfully, couldn't even carry the ball out of their zone. And LCC back with the possession, Knotek, Prochaska, and shot. Nice save, but LCC is ready, Barak with the ball, and they're still a minute in their man up. They had like five shots already. Frankie Klima, not quite as fast as Barak, but fast enough. And we are back to a 6-6. Another man down goal for Zbraslav. One could already say maybe they're better off playing man down as they seem to score on those. 
and they don't seem to score on the man up. So, I don't know, maybe a strategy, a new one, if you ask me, but what do I know? All right, ladies and gentlemen, 6-6. Six, six. LCC still in a man up. I would say that was a hold, but not quite. Maybe just an attempt. There wasn't such a disadvantage there, but hold on. We have a whistle. I think Vojta might have thought that Martin Bartuska had his hand up, as did I, admittedly. So maybe he didn't. Let's see what they will agree on. Other than that, it's an inadvertent whistle. Correct. Inadvertent whistle, so ball will stay with red as they had the ball at that time. It does happen. You know, this is a fast-paced game. A lot of stuff happens at the same time. Usually we officiate with three officials tonight. It's two. It's during the week. We have two games going on in two places. Um, you know, so it, it happens. But, whoa, okay. Zbraslav was not ready. They had all the time in the world, though, on after that inadvertent whistle to set up, but didn't quite do that. And LCC, as mentioned, utilizes every opportunity to punish mistakes like that. And just like that, they did. And Lukas Kuchera utilized a pass from Tomasz Prochaska and scored. So now LCC again in the lead, 7-6. This is a very tight game, probably the tightest that LCC has had yet. I will look at the stats in a minute, but you can do that already now just by heading to pointbench.com and you can see all the stats from all the games right there. Thank you, Petr Tahal, for, for providing those and to all our friendly helpers keeping the stats for you each and every game. We have 40 down and a bunch still to go this season before we finish up big with our final four in November. Zbraslav trying hard to get back into the lead here. Will it be enough? I mean, they definitely want it, you can tell. But can they is the big question of the evening. Not quite on this possession, but there are many more to go. We still have five minutes in the second quarter. Score 6-7. And a very exciting back and forth. Zbraslav was able to stop the bleeding a little bit with a beautiful goal by Franciszek Klima, who kind of just jogged it to the goal there but it didn't go unanswered long. And now LCC just shooting at the goalie. Victor Blaha now in goal, who was injured earlier. Funny enough, Victor Blaha lives and grew up in Radocin and is uh, transferred to Braslav. Young player, 16 years old couldn't play in the Frank Menschner Cup because of an injury, but is back in goal and looking strong. His percentage is about 78% roughly, which is consistent with the top goalie percentages in the league. On the other end, we have Jakub Marash in the LCC goal. A chance for Zbraslav. Fast paced counter attack. Oh! Wow. Okay, that just snuck in. Very sneaky right there. Beautiful goal by Condon Padrick. One of the, I believe, from St. Lawrence transfers for the fall part of the season and what a beauty that was 7-7 seven, seven. Mm. I don't know about you but I really like it Whitmer with that ground ball on the face
Sorry, I got distracted by this beautiful play and stopped talking. I apologize. Spraslav moving the ball as fast as they can to make sure to distract that LCC defense. Not quite successfully. And here goes the very fast counterattack, Knotek. And Friedl did not quite work. Ball back down. Name of the game here is ground balls right now, I would say. And LCC is on top and converts and keeps their lead, which they have gained around the eighth minute of that second quarter. And it is a back and forth, ladies and gentlemen. We are at 7-8, seven, 7's Breslov, because they're the home team tonight. And 8 for LCC Radochin at the moment. Hayek not going to let Patrick go off easy on this one. I think he was a little surprised by the strength of Hayek there. He's not just fast, but also strong. And we have a timeout. Here with two and a half minutes to go in this half. Spraslav maybe could use a breather. LCC looks like they could use a breather. They didn't look like it during play, which is always nice to see that while they'll play, you cannot tell if they're tired or not. Ladies and gentlemen, do share where you're watching from. And I apologize if I mistakenly said that Bly is 16. I thought he was. How old is he? Do tell us. And a big hi to Pardubice, to our fans there. It's always great to see where you guys are. A little breather for me also. And we are back. Two and a half minutes to go. Pavel Serk tried one more. Did not quite convert this one. LCC still on it. Another shot. Who can get the rebound? LCC can. Srch, Knotek. A fast back and forth. Prochaska. Straslav now having a hard time getting the ball away from LCC until now. Patrick is a real addition to this team. Fast legs, good stick skills. Can Whitmer keep the ball? He's working on it. Not quite. Kressel was faster. And tips the ball to Prochaska. Who is now looking for Knotek if he's free, but he's not. Found somebody else. Slowing it down a little bit. They want to take that lead into halftime. Big momentum. Strach, nice try. Would have been beautiful if it did go in. But Blaha was there ready to go. A nice try from behind the goal. Did not quite convert. Still at it. Still a LCC ball. Whoa. Blah got lucky there. I don't think he knew where the ball was for a second. A quick counter attack here by Zbraslav, who would really love to win this period also. But it doesn't look like it right now. And a big push and shove. Martin Bartuszka is on top of that. I'm not worried for a second. Hayek, Knotek. And LCC now feeling comfortable that they will take their lead into the dressing room for the halftime break. But Frankie doesn't think so. Still 18 seconds to go. Can they at least equalize? Not on this shot. Maybe on the next one. Time out with 10, well, 11 seconds left in this half. Good call there by Zbraslav. And they will get one more shot, or maybe two if they're quick, on goal, on Mars' goal. 
if and let's see if they can equal out this game before we head into halftime. And we will then check the score on the other Prague pitch in Malešice, where the other LCC team is playing. And I will check that for you right here. I believe that game has finished. And yes, Malešice did beat the Wolves 13-9. I'm pretty sure Malashitsa is very happy about it. We would expect the Wolves team showing up here in the second half to support their clubmates and cheering them on potentially in this very hard for battle against Zbraslav. An expected hard for battle, I have to say. 11 seconds on the shot clock and in this half. Zbraslav with six on five, three, two, one, not quite, not quite. All right, LCC took the lead in about half of that second quarter and is taking this lead into halftime. Let's see what Zbraslav can think of to still, you know, hold LCC at on a tight leash here and maybe take the lead again ladies and gentlemen we will take a short break do stay with us write us your questions or facts that you might know and want to share and we will be right back my name is Babs and you are watching the MBLL
Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, all friends of box lacrosse watching us from around the globe, I'm hoping. Welcome to NBLL game number 40 on this late summer evening here in Prague with home team currently Zbrasla taking on the actual home team LCC Radotin. Third period about to begin, LCC took the lead into the dressing room at halftime after Zbraslav led all the way through the first yeah, period and a half and now really hoping to gain the momentum to get back on the board and lead once again. We have a very equal game here tonight as we all expected, including LCC themselves, we know that. And yeah, a correction to my earlier statement, the boyish looks of Viktor Braha had me fooled and he is not 16 years old, but I hear already over 20. Well, to me, 16, 20, 25, 30, all the same. These are great players independent of their age. Their age will matter this weekend though, as we have the NBLL All-Star Game Battle of the Millenniums, where we have teams split up in 2K and 3K, 2K players born until 2000 and 3K players born in the new millennium, meaning after the year 2000. Join us Saturday at 5 Central European time online or live in person in Yizhny Mesto. If you do come live, there is a sweet beer surprise waiting for you from our partner Horimir. But back to this game here tonight. This is the battle of number one LCC right now in the table against number three who really wants to become number two to really pull in from the best spot possible into the final four and battle for gold. LCC looking strong despite a slightly shorter bench tonight. Zbraslav looking very strong with a very long bench. So I don't think athleticism will be a problem tonight for either of the teams. It will be more about skill and experience is my guess. Zbraslav gave up a couple of easy goals just by not paying attention, maybe underestimating because they were two men up and got scored on. That was very surprising. On the other hand, they managed to convert two men downs. So maybe that strategy has paid off so far. I'm sure they will try to stay out of the sin bin and get a couple more goals on the board. Nice action there by the Zbraslav defense, but not quiet as Luki Kuchera manages to get that ball back off the ground and into the Zbraslav net. We now have a two goal lead by LCC the first time this game as they were trailing behind all of first and most of second until they got to a back and forth lead late in the second and now a two goal lead here on their home turf where Zbraslav uses this arena as their home arena. They do practice in Zbraslav, not Parkem, in a beautiful new facility and their roster is quite long and extensive with transfers from all around the most international team in this league with a couple Americans and some Germans on their roster. Lassa managed to score today as well. Their German transfer. LCC sticking to their LCC Radotin roots and their other team, the Wolves played in Malishitsa earlier this evening are not taking home a win tonight. Malashitze won 13 to nine in their home turf. I am pretty sure those celebrations over there are extensive right now. Zbraslav quite upset about, I would say the half open door there maybe. I cannot judge from where I am if it was truly open or not. It seems that Zbraslav felt that way. Nevertheless, no hand up there and Official Wojta was right there, so he must have seen it. Now Zbraslav, Adam Strecha. Oh, 
thinking about their possession quite long, but not long enough to utilize it fully. LCC back in possession. The game has slowed down a little bit as I'm compared to the first half. Is Vraslav trying to find their momentum back? Vasek Frank figured out you need two hands on a ground ball, which is great to see. Frantisha Klima scored one today as well. Adam Vevoda and Jack Grace, one of Brian Whitmer's hometown buddies from Oswego. Jack and Carson joins Braslav in the fall part of the season. They're also interning here on their sports management studies and helping around not just Braslav, but also the NBLL as well, as well as refing, which is great to see. Kressel to Srch, who had two absolutely gorgeous goals today already. If you haven't seen them and only joined us now, do rewatch them. They were in the second quarter. They are worth it. Trust me, if you don't know when they were, just check out pointpench.com and you can identify the time of the goal and easily go back and rewatch it. Zbraslav. They really need to pay better attention on those passes because they can't give up balls that easily. That was a nice try by Adam Strecha from Pilsen. Not quite successful, but definitely worth trying. There were a couple goals today already on both ends where the ball really just miraculously trickled in. So it is worth trying, even from a weird angle. Definitely better than losing a ball on a pass. We've also seen quite a lot of those. Braslav in the counter attack here. Jack to, I don't know who 34 is, I have to admit. Oh, that's Carson, sorry. I should know that. Shot. That is an easy save for Pep Slavik. So LCC has swapped goalies. Braslav has not. Now Pep Slavik in the LCC goal, also one of the four boys, well, I should say young men, that traveled to Saskatchewan last season for three months and played in their box lacrosse league. Definitely worth an experience. Nice rebound there by Young Fisher. Zbraslav gets the ball back. Jakub Obras. Waiting for their attack to set up. And they're trying to look for ways how to beat this LCC defense and the LCC goalie. Uh, it was nice try by Andre Streblik. He almost had it, but just not quite with a triple team on him. And this is what I mean on the stick skills. You really need to make sure that those passes are spot on because LCC will give you a hard time, even on the good passes. And there it is. A nice, I don't know if it's a tic-tac-toe, but maybe it looked like that to me. A couple of quick passes. And in it goes into Pepcha Slavi goal. And we have an eight to nine ball game over here. This was a long one. We had to wait for a long time for this goal but it was definitely worth waiting for. Let's see if Spraslav can continue. Not quite, a little early there. Barak with the ball now. Wojciech Weiss was on that last goal with a pass from Adam Vevoda and there was definitely a second passer there as well. I have to admit I didn't catch his number so I'll I have to go back, but that was a very nice action. Just a couple of quick passes all across the floor, utilizing the space, distracting the defense, and then 
capitalizing on that and burying the ball into Pep Slavik's goal. They will try to do the same here. Yaroslav Horn, easily identifiable by his shoes and his flow. Yeah, Zbraslav did not notice that there was no time left there, even though he got yelled at. Lasse didn't realize that he needs to shoot it faster. Now Tonda got well with the ball. Luki Kuchera taking his time. He's in no rush. A pick up by Srch. Oh, he just makes it look so easy. So rebound by Srch to Prochaska and just an easy in right there. I'm sure Viktor Blaha isn't happy about that one. They just make it look so easy. Anytime I look on the replay, I'm like, yeah, I was clear as day. Yet not many teams can convert like LCC can. So LCC back to a two goal lead here. Zbraslav doing everything but giving up for sure. It's a very tight game here and it's all in the cards. Still plenty of time, and as we know, lacrosse is in an unexpected game. You can't really say this early how it's going to end up, and we're in for a good ball game. That rebound went straight back to Petra Slavik. An easy one for him. Kressel with the ball. Friedel. LCC just so calm. I, I love watching them play. It just almost never looks like chaos. It's, it's, it's like being in Japan, really. You know, there's like zillions of people and, and it maybe looks like a lot of movement at first, but it's all very calm and organized. That's more or less what LCC play looks like to me, which is great. Mm, yeah, there's an advantage for Zbraslav. 100% agree with that. And Hayek will go in for a hold. We haven't seen a penalty in a, in a while. They've been pretty disciplined late in second and early in third. So this is a first penalty in quite some time. And let's see if Zbraslav can bank on this one. So far their man ups haven't been as successful as their man downs. <laughs> so we'll see what happens on this one. They do need to break LCC's momentum again and get back into the lead also for their own motivation. Well not with that. That will not do it. Just very easy for LCC to now get the ball back all right Zbrasla managed to get it back a little bit of push and shove there or again not as physical this game as it was in first half that wasn't quite the angle you wanted there nevertheless oh Zbraslav's complaining about a back in from where i am i couldn't see where the player's feet were when he did fall back into the crease as it seemed, but he must have had his feet in already. An interesting one for all our official friends to go and rewatch. I would want to see your take on that one in our Slack group. Might be a better view from the camera angle than from what I had over here. And a shot by Zbraslav. That was a good try, just not quiet on target or maybe set too good of a target as it was straight to the goalie. But better than that one. That goes straight out of bounds, giving Zbraslav back their possessions. Zbraslav fans have assembled. They have loud and very supportive fans, which is great to see, especially in this arena here. Radotin fans fill the ranks when we have the famous legendary AHM tournament here in April and the little brother of it 
the Frank Menschner Cup end of August, early September. Next year, ahead of the Utica World Lacrosse World Championships, will be a good one as many national teams will come and prepare. Do join us here in April. It will be worthwhile. And if you want to see some of this talent really firsthand, this is always a good place to be. Uh, LCC back with their possession, trying to build up their leads. A two-goal lead is not something they feel very comfortable with, but definitely more comfortable than trailing behind as they were earlier over and back. So Zbraslav will get the ball here. Trying to get on that board. Can they distract the LCC defense like they did earlier? Well, they would have to move the ball a little quicker. Maybe they will. Not quite. Can he get the rebound? The new star of this Braslav team, the 15-year-old Marek Shafanda. Very strong this game. And he will just grow stronger as he grows older. But now LCC, Tomasz Knotek alone towards Viktor Blaha. Straight to his chest, though. Easy for Viktor to save that one. Even though Knotek is very, yeah, hard to predict where he's going to shoot it from my perspective. So I'm sure Victor was relieved to get such an easy one-on-one -on -one shot. We're under a minute in third here. A much calmer period than the first two, yet not less exciting. We have now Zbraslav with eight, LCC with ten. Just a two-goal lead, which is absolutely nothing in the exciting game of box lacrosse. And we still have a full period to go. We're playing stop time in this league. And, yeah, Pavel Sers just couldn't care less and just goes for it. With 40 seconds left in this quarter. That's his third this game, I believe. He hit, no, fourth. His fourth goal this game, he hit... The first one for LCC, then two in a row, beauties, one behind the back. And now his fourth couple of assists as well. That guy is on fire right now. All right, it's Braslav with an important win at the face. 30 more seconds. It would be a great motivational score right here if they can break Pep Chaslavik's goal towards the end of the third period here. No. As I said, even precise passes are hard to catch against a LCC defense. And Hayek with his unbelievably quick feet. He is in places where you did not expect him to be. That was on the corner, not quite in. Lacrosse friends, remember the ball has to cross the plane of the goal, meaning the goal line completely for it to be a goal. What an exciting game so far. It's Braslav, the today home team with eight, LCC with 11. Just the three goal difference here. Do join us after the short break. Grab something to drink, something to eat. Share this with your friends and we will be right back. My name is Babs, and you are watching the MBLL.
Ladies and gentlemen, lacrosse fans around the world, we are back. NBLL, Zbraslav taking on the current table lead LCC Radotin here on a beautiful late summer evening in Prague. Welcome, my name is Babs and I am your host tonight. Let's see if Zbraslav can give LCC a run for their money. We have at least 15 more minutes of exciting lacrosse play here in Radotin. Zbraslav with that face-off win, keep fighting and keep smiling. I heard Brian Whitmer say in that break. And so we shall watch them do just that. Quick passes have been working well for Zbraslav so far. If they can keep it up, then they can definitely try to push this LCC defense to its limits. Zbraslav is a newly strengthened team and there it goes, utilized on attention of the LCC defense and scored shortening their deficit by another goal so it's a two goal game now always great to see and early in the fourth an important goal for Zbraslav for motivational purposes for sure Zbraslav with also showcasing how important it is to do youth work four of their players, at least four of them, uh, Adam Vejvoda, Jara Horn, Kuba Obras and Marek Shafanda have been playing with Zbraslav since their early childhood, something that the LCC team has also discovered for themselves years ago. And we can now see the young players now around 15, 16, 17 play really good men's lacrosse here. What an unfortunate through crease mistake here shortening the advantage for Zbraslav. We will have a tripping penalty. Tonda Gottwald will go sit down and take a break for two minutes and gives man up opportunity to Zbraslav. So far not so successful this game. They have been more successful on the man downs, surprisingly so. Nevertheless, it's fourth quarter. The momentum changes and shifts. So does the strategy and motivation as the end of the game nears. And with the opening goal of this period, Zbraslav will want to put one more, shorten their deficit and keep their momentum going for them. As we know, box lacrosse has long penalties, two minutes. So you get to utilize that. And they're trying to do just that. Maybe not with that shot, but they managed to get the ball back. Hayek didn't think that they would. But now giving the opportunity to Andras Reblik, who couldn't quite catch that one. And gives the ball back to Zbraslav. Giving us a quite exciting long possession, long man up possession. I also hear that Zbraslav is not able to practice at their new facility, unfortunately. Not Parkem, due to a decision by the city hall. So if you do live in Zbraslav, go ahead and put some pressure on them so that our boys can practice at that facility again in the evening hours. It would be great for their program. And we can see that great things have been done with their program just recently and in the recent years. Unfortunate mistake by the Zbraslav defense getting scored on in their own man up. This has happened several times this game already. Maybe something Brian Whitmer wants to go work on after this game because that could definitely be a total game changer for this Zbraslav team. And once again, making it look super easy, Tomasz Hayek with that goal with his quick feet always fun to watch him play Zbraslav with the next face-off they have been quite successful at face-offs today a 
we could watch a very athletic game. So far here, nobody losing their breath. Neither LCC nor Zbraslav. These guys are all on fire. They both want to win. Of course, why else would you play? But I think Zbraslav came in really strong, hoping that they can at least come close to beating LCC tonight. And they are very close. It's a three goal game. Plenty of time to go, 11 and a half minutes at least, that is. Not to jinx it or anything, because then I'll have to buy rounds for everybody. At least for the officials, that is. All right, and let's keep going. Victor Blaha taking his time, unfortunately not long enough. Giving the ball straight to Barak, one on one. Luckily for Victor Blaha, he gets to save that one. I don't think his teammate expected that pass right there. 10 seconds to clear over half. For newbies to box lacrosse watching us tonight, in box lacrosse you get a 10 second clear count to get your ball over half. And then you have to stay there. LCC with the opportunity to build up their lead. Then quiet work. Whitmer with the quick pickup for Zbraslav and a quick counter attack, but called off for a moving pick. Oh no. We do not want to see that. We have Hayek down with what looks like an ankle injury. Hopefully it's more a shock than an actual injury. He does look hurt, so we will take some time. Hayek, one of the fastest guys, if not the fastest one. We want to find out this Saturday, so fingers crossed for him and that with a little bit of ice and rest, he will get this over with quickly. Speaking of the All-Star Game, if you have no plans for Saturday and you are in Prague or Devon City, do come by Saturday 5 p.m. in Yizhny Mesto with lots of fun surprises, including our partner Horimir and also a nice pink partnership. I will not relieve more. Just come by and find out. And if you are not lucky enough to be in Prague or the surroundings, then do watch us online 5 p.m. Central European time with all the stars from the MBLL. LCC now trying hard to score on Victor Blaha's goal and we will have an advantage, a man up here. A cross check by Zbraslav. Zbraslav does not need this right now. They, even though they did score on their last two men downs, so maybe this is exactly what they re need right now. We shall find out, and you will find out with us. So stay tuned. This is a three goal game, super tight, super exciting back and forth. Knotek. LCC just, you know, doing what they do, taking their time and making it look super easy. Surf didn't get to touch the ball on this possession, but he had plenty of touches earlier and will have more. Knotek, Barak, back to Knotek and back forward. Zbraslav still a minute 20 man down. Maybe they managed to steal the ball away and score one more. I think that would be a new surprising strategy that I have not yet seen before. Prochaska. There he goes. Na, Whitmer. Can he carry it all the way? Three more seconds to get over. He did get it over. 18 seconds on that shot clock. Yeah. They will.
try for sure. You never know. It may trickle in just by pure accident and sometimes by pure skill. Not quite that one, but still plenty of time. 8.40 left in this quarter. And a big shout out to Rochester, New York. A beautiful place. I'd been a couple of weeks ago on a lucky business trip for me. Beautiful place up there, a lot of lacrosse up there and a bunch of players here that are from that area, from upstate New York, that is probably turning beautifully with fall colors soon. So a big shout out that you are watching us here, Gavining your box lacrosse fix between the Man Cup and the NLL. I would say MBLL is the place to be for that. So tell your friends and bring them over here. And if not over here, then to the screens. Back to our game in Radocin. We are back even with eight minutes left. Marek Shafanda. Adam Streha, can he pick it up? Not quite. Carson can. All right, and ball goes back to Radocin, who are now a little bit more relaxed than earlier with a three goal lead. But as we do know, a three goal lead is nothing in box lacrosse and can disappear very quickly, as Zbraslav knows, as they had been in the lead all of first and most of second quarter. They just couldn't get it back for more than a one goal lead in the second half yet. But could still happen. Definitely giving LCC a run for their money in this game as we all expected and hoped for. Wonderful game over here in Prague. Yarohorn, also one of the new, huh, wow, not new, sorry, one of the young players on this Braslav team who had been practicing since early childhood and proving his skills here, beating Pepcha Slavik and making this a two goal game. Ladies and gentlemen, super exciting. Yarohorn with the goal, nicely set up. And you get to see the replay as well. Always easy to follow him on floor. Thanks to his pink shoes. Zbraslav straight from the face off trying it again. They have no time to lose now. And need to catch up this two goal deficit. Definitely better than a three goal deficit. Even my five year old knows that. So they will try and try again until they're there. A lot of pushing and shoving in the middle here. There's a glove missing. Somebody's without one. Kressel. Barak now with the ball. Victor Blaha with a great save. One on one with Barak is never easy. And back to Zbraslav. Mm, Shruta's stick was in the way. Not quite to catch it, but enough to disturb that pass. One more from the bench on the Zbraslav end. Can they do something about this? Not quite, and nobody there to pick up the rebound. What a shame there. And LCC will take their time. Okay. LCC has no rush. They still have a two goal lead and are good in keeping the ball to themselves. Strach trying it on Blaha. Whitmer trying to outrun Strach, which he can easily do. Yarohorn mm, couldn't quite keep that one. And Kressel super fast. I hate running next to him, I have to admit. Knotek. Blaha with a save. And we are back to Zbraslav. We're under five minutes now. I think Zbraslav feels the pressure if they want to come close to beating this LCC team here tonight. The chances are definitely there 
It's just about utilizing them and maybe a little bit of luck as well. There it is. That was no luck there. That was just pure skill. Beautiful goal by Zbraslav, making this a one-goal game. Ladies and gentlemen, we are late in the fourth quarter. Still four and a half minutes to go. Zbraslav 11, LCC 12. I'm not sure if LCC isn't getting a little nervous now. They still have a lead, but it's just one goal. And as we all know, one goal is nothing. Zbraslav back with the goal. The face-offs possessions have been crucial for them. Yaro Horn is really on fire tonight. Maybe he can get in one more, but Barak will try his luck on the other end of the floor. He's in no rush. Maybe he should be. But yeah, four minutes to go. Strach, can he do one more? He has four, four already. Maybe a fifth. He's trying. And his tries are always pretty good. A rebound. Ha. Oh, what a beauty. Oh, this is exciting. I hope you can feel the excitement just as much as we can here in the arena. Sech, he'll try it again. No. Knotek can't quite catch it, but pick it up. Making up for his small mistake there. Sech again. Oh, Victor Blaha has his hands full. Oh, come on. You can't do that. Spot on. All right. Ground ball battle. Mm, yeah. Definitely a moving screen there by Tonda Gottwald. Ah, oh, big mistake by Shruta here. Delaying the game, not letting Whitmer pick up the ball there. And this is a crucial mistake late in fourth. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very exciting game on our hands. Three minutes to go, and now a man up for Zbraslav. Let's see if they can finally capitalize on one. I would love to see that just for the sake of statistics. Well, it won't be this possession. Streblik with the ball. Strong guys on the LCC team. Tonda Gottwald, Barak. They can keep the ball for a long time if they try hard enough. And or, whoa, that, whoa. All right, Victor Blaha got lucky on that one. And Zbraslav did get scored on a couple of times on their man's up, man ups. So I'm sure they're hoping not to get scored on here. But do quite the opposite and equalize this game. Currently trailing behind one. LCC ahead with a man down. Two minutes to go and full minute on the Zbraslav man up still. S slightly unprecise there and shot clock ran out. Zbraslav lost that opportunity. And LCC will now try their best to hold off the ball to have it for the full 30 if they can, and then reset the clock. A, to run down the penalty, and B, to run down the game clock, as they are one goal ahead. Srach with the fifth goal of this game for him. And again, Zbraslav on a man up, got scored on. It's almost a curse this game. I will have to go back and count, which I'm sure Brian Whitmer and the team will do too. Nothing is lost yet. Two goal game with a minute and f almost 40 seconds left. And Zbraslav has been very successful on the face-offs. So can almost count on the possession here. I'm sure Andras Treblik not so happy about the face-off performance off the Zbraslav team tonight. 
as it's destroying his own statistic. It's Braslav. Not quite on target, but can keep it in their half. Five. And another try, at least a reset out of bounds. They're getting the ball back. We are almost even, four seconds. We are back to even strength and we're under a minute. There's two goals. This Braslav team has come very, very close to beating LCC. Can they still make it happen? Your guess is as good as mine. Now a timeout for the LCC team. Let's see what they will come up with to make sure to keep this two goal lead. And even more interestingly so, will Zbraslav be able to come up with a game plan to make this two goal deficit go away in less than 45 seconds? It is doable. I've seen a bunch of goals scored with six seconds or even less. So pure mathematically, definitely possible. In reality, we'll see. Fans online believe it's doable. I think fans here in the arena also think so. Same on the other end. I'm pretty sure the LCC fans are convinced that their number one team can hold off any competition. We will find out in about 43 seconds. Oh, look at that speed. Oh my God, that is just unreal. Kressel. Yeah, I mean, Zbraslav tried it. With Kressel on the ball, it is really, really hard to keep up. But hey, if I was Braslav, I would probably try the same thing because, you know, two goals in less than 45 seconds, you pull the goalie and, and just go for it. You try it. Viktor Blaha wants to return to his goal. <laughs> yeah, they don't seem to agree on this Braslav team if they're pulling the goalie or not. And they agreed that they will... Oh, a crucial face-off that went now LCC way. They have a three-goal lead. We're under 30 seconds here. Now I can say LCC can probably get a breather. But this Zbraslav team heads down to them. They came super close to pulling off the unbelievable pull off against oh and there's the push and shoves at the end totally unnecessary game is over gentlemen just you know but yeah there we go wow really what a game if you joined us late do rewatch this game very different first half to the second half both equally exciting Zbraslav 11, LCC 14, a very different result than in earlier this spring when it was 22 to LCC and just nine on the Zbraslav end. So really heads down to both teams here for this hard fought battle. You gave us a beautiful game of lacrosse. Thank you very much for watching and staying with us. Head to Point Bench for some statistics details and keep watching the MBLL. My name is Babs. Thanks for joining me this evening. Congratulations, LCC, to your win. And congratulations, Braslav, to this performance. Thank you and good night.